so let's proceed and uh, we are still creating accounts or ledgers for opening balances and we are on creating bank accounts. So I'll create Stanbic, 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 Stanbic bank. If you have the account number, the bank account number can be put here, the description, you know, the currency bit, you have to always check on the currency to confirm. And so I will have to enter my opening balance. Opening balance is 20. Is 20 million. And so my end of year statement date was uh, 31st of December 2020. I am done with creating the accounts that were in uh, the accounts for a question so I can save and close. Yeah, 90 days in the past, I told you this can be removed, but for purposes of, 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 uh, for purposes of learning, it helps to always remind you that the transaction that you're doing is 90 days in the past. So I'll click, okay. So look at what happens in our chart of accounts. Our money or the, 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 that we have posted are there in the accounts for, for, for for double entry to be complete, that money is our capital. And it's credited on our capital account, which is equity, opening balance equity. So that means that for now, we even have a balance sheet. Every account that appears, our equity, our equity going above, equity and above, those appear in the balance sheet and the, Below EPT, income, income going below, you know that those appear in the profit and loss or in our income statement. So where do we generate our, our reports from? All reports are mostly on this report reports tab menu. So we can access the final statements are uh, always under the final statements, sorry, this had to let her in. Our final statements are always on reports, then com company and financial. For now, we want to access our balance sheet, a preferred balance sheet standard. So you see, we have our report already generated in a crew. These systems, as I told you, they are, they obey the general, the general accepted accounting principles, the gaps. So if you want in cash, it will be like this. If you want in accruals, uh, still, still. So this report, of course, can be saved. If I go to file, save as PDF, can save it as a PDF anywhere. I look for the location where I want to save it on my computer. So that is that is opening balances for you. But we still have another category of opening balance, which I want us to do one. I want us to do two in each category. And then your assignment is that you will complete opening balances. You will redo this and you finish the opening balances, including inventory, and then we will start on transactions next time. And uh, now uh, we shall go to inventory. We have already activated our inventory, so we shall go to items. Items and items and services. So I can simply, under items and services, right click, select new. Remember services, now we have different, under this part we have services, you need to know services. A business that needs in services can add services from here. Inventory parts, 
used for purchase or the goods we purchase for resale. So these are the ones that we want to add. Other items can be added as we shall see for inventory assembly for manufacturing, non-inventory parts, other charge, discounts, and other payments. We shall look at them from there. So now let us proceed with, with, with the items. Now items were in three groups, were in uh, hardware, food items, and stationary. But for now, we, shall, we can create hardware as an item. We can create hardware as an item. Every item must have an income account. Let's say for hardware, we shall put them under hardware. Hardware, hardware sales. For you, I am introducing sub accounts. Hardware sales, under sales. So I can press enter to set up this account. Hardware, yes, it is our income account, but I can say it is a sub account of sales. So that is the, 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 thing, the thing to do with sub accounts. It's under sales. So I save one. So we are creating hardware for the start. We are not putting the unit of measure. We are not putting the cost and sales price, no quantity on hand. Uh, maybe uh, le let's proceed the next. And then we put the items that are found under hardware. We start with roofing nails. Roofing nails, you activate the unit of measure here, add. Add the new. So you will find they are categorized here. We have count, we have length, we have weight. So where do we find kilograms? Of course, it is under, it's under weight. So you can move it next. You activate kg. You finish. You go ahead to put the cost price. Cost price is 4,000. Sales price is 8,000. Uh -huh. The quantity on hand, what do we have on hand? We have 1,000. Uh, for stock management, we have reorder points, minimum and maximum. You can order QuickBooks. It always remind you when there is a, a, a certain minimum. You can put the minimum that you should be reminded or the maximum that you shouldn't stock past you can also put it here. After putting the quantity on hand, QuickBooks will remind, we calculate automatically the total value in terms of this. The, the default account, the inventory asset is there. The inventory asset account. And uh, our, our income account, yes, it's already selected. It is hardware sales. Maybe for purposes of, of opening balance, let me, push the date back to 31st of December, 2020. There, I can move next. Yes, 90 days in the past. Now that item is saved. I can put another item. Uh, another item, the second item, iron sheets. Iron sheets, we are, uh, it's under each, each is under count. So I'll go ahead and select each. And then put the cost price. The cost price is uh, the cost price in according to our question is 35,000. And our sales price is 43,000. Uh, what do we have? No. 43,000. Uh, uh, quantity on hand, we have 600. So our total value is there. The income account is that. Of course, it calculates for us the markup and margin in terms of percentages. So I can select our date. And then move next. 
that category is done. I said in which category it has do to. Uh, we go to the food items. Create food items here, like that. I want to create the income account here. I can choose to, to use add new where I paste the account here, good items, good items. Even if I don't put sales, says a back account of sales, I want to put it under sales. I can save and close. Uh, this, I am creating the, the category so I can move next and then enter my food items. Number one, we have sugar. And uh, sugar we are measuring in kgs. Kgs is already activated. Our cost price is 30, uh, it is 35. Uh -huh. Then our sales price. Our sales price is 6,000. Uh, there we are. Our, our quantity on hand is uh, 1,200. And uh, that means our income account is already selected is here. The default asset account is here. Our waters are added to the opening date. The, the, the date as of, it was of 31st of December, 2020. So I will move next. Now that item is saved. I put my second item in that category, which is sold. Sold has a unit of measure called the packet. My unit of measure called packet, I can't even define it here well. So I will go to other and define my unit of measure packet. PKT. I will click finish. Then I'll put the cost price to five. And uh, the sales price is, is 38. And uh, the quantity on hand is 600. It will calculate for me the total value as I select the, the, the date. Yes, the income account I check it is that. I'll click next. I want to change the category, so I will now go to stationary. I'll create stationary. I'll create my stationary account there, and I will change this account, income account, to stationary, the sales account. Even if here I don't change the date. it is telling me session that is not in the list. I set it up as an income account under under sales. So I click next. Create my first item under this category as foods foods cups foods cups. Uh huh. And then I. We we'll create the cost, the unit of measure for post cups as rim. Do I have rim? Do I have rim? I can create it under count. It is not there, but I can define it under others as rim. Yes, there we are. I will define the cost price as 8,000 and then sales price as 13,000. 
thousand. The income account is already there. So I put the cost, rather the items on hand as 5,000. So it would define for me the total value on hand uh, as I select the date. So this is set. So I have to select another one. Then my other item under that category is exercise book. Is exercise books. Exercise books, they are uh, units of measure is dozen. Dozen is under count. So I will do my dozen here. I click like that. So the cost price is the cost price is nine thousand five hundred, and my sales price is twelve thousand. Uh, quantity on hand, I have two thousand. Uh, date. Uh, that is this. Uh, in the other previous items, I never activated this because I wanted to show you how to do it. If let's say you have not selected sub item here, but yeah, this is sub item of, this is a sub item of stationary. So I'll click okay now. Yes. You realize that now these my items are not like exercise book, which is under stationary. So I would double click on them to put them in their categories. Something that you should have done from here. Sugar is under food items. Mm -hmm. uh, food scraps is under stationary. Mm -hmm. Iron sheets uh -huh, are under hardware. Uh, roofing is also a sub item of hardware. Uh, salt is also under. Good items. So there we are. Our items are in their categories. Because here it shows prices and that. So this is not a, a complete, it's not a complete inventory report. Let's cross these items and services. Then we go to reports to access the report, inventory report. So we can. The most preferred one is inventory evaluation summary. So the inventory evaluation summary is this good report, which shows uh, the items on hand and their quantities and their total value. You see in each category, total food items um, amount to, to 5.7 5 M and hardware items amount to 25 M. Uh, exercise stationary books all at once uh, amount to how much? To how much? To how much? Uh, it is quite down here. Yes, total stationary is here. And they give you percentages of each in store. And so that means the total uh, asset value is this. If we sell them at that price, at this sales price, we expect to get this money. So such is very important. This our report can be saved as a PDF, can be printed, can be exported to Excel. You can customize it the way you want. So that is the inventory report for you. 
the other event or reports that can be of, of very great use. For example, you want to do uh, physical uh, stock taking, you can use physical inventory worksheet, that one. Mm -hmm. Physical inventory worksheet, you can customize this and remove these columns from here. Mm -hmm. You can customize. You don't want description, you don't want this margin, you don't want some of these things. You can always customize them and remove them. So you can print this out as you go and count the items physically. We can print it or export it to Excel. So another inventory, rather another important thing that we need to learn is VAT. In our question, there is VAT, and they are saying VAT is charged at 18% on items sold. So we want to set up VAT is also under, IT, under preferences. So we shall do edit preferences, uh, sales tax, and then we go to company preferences. Do you charge sales tax? Yes. You add the sales tax item from there. And then it will bring us to this. You click sales item, sales tax item, and then you can define it as VAT. You can do a description sales tax. You define the rate, 18%. Then you define the tax agency. Who collects this tax? You are a, you set it up as a vendor because they use the home currency. Ah, then there you have activated taxes. You click OK to save it. Make all existing customers taxable, yes. Make all non inventory, yes. So you will save that setting after you can click OK. Uh, now we are there, we have so far achieved our objectives. We have created a, a company file, entered opening balances using the chart of accounts by selecting the category and then we enter. We have also been able to enter our inventory items from here and even grouping them, mm -hmm. inventory parts, and then entering them and defining the, 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 the categories there. And we have also activated the sales tax. So your assignment is to complete all of them. Go we'll start this question and do it over and do it all over again. Yes. There are other advanced inventory, uh, of course, tracking. Let's say we want to enter all those items at once. If you have them in an Excel sheet, you can right click in the chart, rather here, items and services, add multiple items. Even when you want to edit all of them at once, you will use that method where you can access your inventory parts here, all of them, you see it already, sub items are already there, the cost prices, the sales prices, the, the default account cost of goods sold. So you can simply enter all your items here. If you want to arrange this the way better for you, like it is in Excel, you can customize. We shall do this later in, and then you can customize this and then you paste from Excel. We shall do that later, but for now, that is where we are. And uh, unless you have any questions, you can type them in the chat. You can, uh, you can as well. You can as well shoot them. Let them come. Thank you.